Hello, Unbrick me here, and today the LEGO Technic Cat D11T bulldozer has finally been officially revealed. This bulldozer has so many exciting features and brand new elements. First, let's go over the functions. We have the independently controlled yellow tracks, and each one uses the large angular motor. Interestingly, this motor actually has slightly lower torque than the regular powered up large motor, which makes me question why these motors were chosen for the driving. Speaking of the chassis, we get some brand new new tracks. Not only are they in a yellow color for the first time, but they have a completely different shape, featuring grip wedges for greater traction, and each track link appears to be wider and shorter. Furthermore, we actually get manually adjustable track tension in this bulldozer by simply spinning the control knob. Personally, I really wish that this function were motorized, since it would be greatly beneficial for off-roading, being able to just remotely tension the tracks. The next functions revolve around the blade, which is absolutely massive. We get both the blade tilt as well as the blade lifting function using brand new black linear actuators. This is accurate to the real life CAD D11T bulldozer and I greatly appreciate the inclusion of brand new elements like this. We also have the motorized height adjustment of the ripper and unfortunately there is only one pair of linear actuators here and the top part is securely connected using brick built non-functional actuators so that means unlike the real bulldozer the ripper will not be able to have tilt adjustment. Furthermore, we actually get the motorized deployable ladder and that's actually an optional feature in the real bulldozer which adds an extra level of convenience. And how could I forget the amazing V12 engine in this bulldozer which is just awesome. Looking at this image, we can clearly see that the fake piston engine takes power from the differential, which is connected to the tracks on either side. This is similar to how the 2014 bulldozer was built, and it's a massive improvement over the 2007 one. We can also see a pair of driving rings over here, which confirms the rumor that this bulldozer will only have four motors and will simply use the third motor to control the four remaining motorized functions. In total, there is six motorized functions the left track, right track, blade tilt, blade height adjustment, ripper height adjustment and the motorized ladder. Given that this set clearly includes a gearbox, it will only have four motors. This set will be the exact same price as the 4100 excavator which is $450, it will have slightly less pieces and a lot less electronics. My biggest complaint about the excavator was that its functions were basic with just a single motor per function. I am so glad that this bulldozer is way more mechanically advanced than that excavator. 2021 has been an amazing year for LEGO Technic, and if you would like to uncover all the secrets of LEGO Technic, like which gears, motors, pneumatics, and more are the rarest, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. But, no pressure, no pressure. What really concerns me is that $450 price tag. My biggest hope right now is that LEGO will reduce the price to $350. That way, the set actually feels worth it. So, will the bulldozer simply be another Zetros, a set with many revolutionary functions, but insanely overpriced and not being appreciated by the overall community? Well, here is my opinion. The bulldozer is an iconic staple of LEGO Technic. Many fans, including myself, have tons of nostalgia for the the 2007 model. The LEGO Technic CAD D11T bulldozer is a phenomenal successor to the 2007 one. It has so many revolutionary functions and pieces and it's a wonderful successor to that set. Therefore, I think that, especially after the set goes on sale by many different retailers and it starts approaching that more $350 price tag, it will be greatly appreciated as an iconic part of LEGO Technic. Honestly, this set fixes every problem besides the price that I had with the 14 100 excavator. To me personally, mechanisms such as gearboxes are a priority. This set reminds me of the past of the 2007 bulldozer and I just have tons of nostalgia. Because of the amazing tracks, mechanisms and more, I do not think that this bulldozer will not be appreciated by the overall community. However, $450 is still too much. Of course, my concerns with the price could all go away if LEGO decides to reduce the price to $350. That way, not only does the price to parts ratio actually become a good deal, but the set's phenomenal mechanisms will make it legendary. And since I have so much nostalgia for the 2007 motorized bulldozer, I will definitely be buying the new bulldozer. What do you think of the LEGO Technic CAD D11T bulldozer? Will you be buying it on October 1st, or is the $450 price tag too much for only 4 motors? This is your Unbrick Me here, and I'll see you in the next one.